This is National Tournament Director Tim Just. The 80-20 TD, 20% effort, 80% bang for your buck. Today, we're going to deal with win TD, and we're going to deal with the database you can download from the uschess.org site. That database contains all the information you'll need in order to enter players into your tournament, including the latest official ratings. At the site, click on Clubs and Tourneys, go to the TD Affiliate Support Area, click on it. The next window is where you sign in to the TD Affiliate Support Area. If you've never set this up so that you can sign in as a TD or as an affiliate, and there's some great tools there, I urge you to do so. Click on Members Only, make sure you have your PIN number, look on the label of your Chess Life or contact USCF, and follow the instructions there. By the way, we're going to do a video later that shows you how to do that. Sign in. Very clever name, eh? Don't give your password to anybody. You're just asking for trouble. No matter how much trouble it doesn't cause you, the day it does cause you a problem is going to be a bigger headache than you're really going to want to deal with. On the next screen, we get a list of tools that we can use as a TD. I signed in as a TD, not as an affiliate. One of the tools when you scroll down is download rating supplement files. This is a link so that you can use that tool. You now have a list of files that you can download. The very first file that shows up, January 2009 rating list, is a file you do not want. That file only contains the updated official ratings from the last list. And the problem with it is that you have to download it and you have to fool with it with your SwissSys program or your WinTD program every single month. If you miss a month, you have to go through the, all those steps for all the months you've missed. It's much easier to scroll down further and go to the January Golden Database. That not only has already been updated for you with all the members, all their official ratings, there's also information for players who don't yet have a rating and may have just joined USCF, or they simply are coming to your tournament for the first time and they've been a member for a long time, you'll get all the membership information you need including their expiration date. The other joy of it is if you miss a couple months of downloads that's not a problem. All you have to do is download the most current golden database and it's already updated for you. One step. 80-20 TD tip. Okay, we're going to save this file. It works out better in the long run if you save it rather than open it at this point. Trust me. Here's the file folder where we're going to put it. I created this folder earlier. If you don't open up into that file folder, you can scroll and find it. This is where we're going to save our zip file. By the way, if you're working in Vista, you need to save stuff like this into your C drive or into the public folder. Those two places and the desktop seem to work best when communicating with SwissSys and the USCF.org site. Let's save this. This will take a couple moments. This is usually a huge database because it contains all the members. You're going to pat yourself on the back. I didn't use this for a long time. I was silly enough to have to go and update those monthly supplements even though I wasn't using them every month. It was a waste of my time and energy. This is much better. We don't need to be in the TD affiliate area anymore. We're going to log out. In fact, we don't even need this screen anymore. We also don't need the uschess.org screen. 
before we get started using WinTD, there's one step that's very important that we need to perform. We need to go find where we put that zip file and unzip it. Double click on it and your favorite zip program will be used to open it. When you unzip it, you want the file to be created in the same folder that you're going to tell WinTD to use when it accesses the database. Notice I've unzipped this already and I've created the GD0901 folder. Golden Database 2009-09-01 January. You might, you might recall that we downloaded the January Golden Database. Let's finish. WinTD is open. Files. USCF directory. We're not going to update the USCF database. That's ineffective and inefficient. We want the USCF directory. All we have to do when we see this and have loaded a golden database previously, like, oh, I don't know, September's or October's of 08, is simply click on here if we have everything in the same file folder as we did the September one and type in the current name of the current database we want to use, 0901. Sometimes it's not that easy. Sometimes you have to go searching for the folder where you have the unzip file golden database. This interface will be different depending on how you have your machine set up, if you're using XP, if you're using XP Home, XP Professional, or Vista. Here I have to double click in order to go looking for the file folder that I want. There it is, golden. I can just click on here. It pops up in my little screen area here. Make sure you're on the C drive. Click OK and you're done. You're all set to open a tournament, create a tournament, and start entering players from the database because WinTD now talks to that database and enters those players with their latest official rating. Thanks for listening. I'm Tim Just, the 8020 TD.